Governor, good to see you. The White House is saying Judge Moore should step aside if the allegations prove to be true. Is that good, is that good enough? Well, I don't think so, Jake. Look, I wasn't for him uh, in the beginning. He's too divisive a person to go over there to the Senate. But look, it, w there's a growing list of people that think he ought to step aside, not be the standard bearer. This is not a, a criminal case or anything like that. It's if you're going to be the candidate for the party and these kinds of things come out and there's so many people now in Alabama saying, yeah, we, we believe her. And you have growing numbers of Republicans like John McCain, Mitt Romney, John Kasich saying he should step aside. Of course he should. Roy Moore is not going to step aside, though. He cannot be removed from the ballot. Um, given these circumstances, do you think Republicans in Alabama should vote for Doug Jones, the Democratic candidate? Jake, I think he should step aside. If not, maybe you can get a write-in candidate. Lisa Murkowski did it in Alaska. She was elected. I think she's urging uh, somebody down there to do that. And, uh, you know, I'm, people of Alabama have to figure it out, and I would hope that, that they would say, no, this is not acceptable. And maybe the party will do it. You know, pressure is mounting. We'll see what happens, Jake. If he is elected despite these allegations, do you think that the U.S. I, I Senate... I can't tell you about the Senate. I, no? I can't tell you about the Senate, Jake. That's up to them. No, look, there's growing numbers of senators that are deeply disturbed about this. The Senate Campaign Committee apparently has cut off funding. Hey, let's, not, let's not get out there. Let's see if something can be resolved here in the next few days. Let's turn to Russia. President Trump has been quick to denounce everyone under the sun, including you, but for some reason he continues <laughs> uh, to have faith and, and believe what uh, Vladimir Putin <laughs> says to him, including apparently over the assessment of the U.S. intelligence community. Uh, what, in your opinion, is going on here? I, I don't know, Jake. When I... When I read that he was calling, you know, these intelligence guys, uh, and let me, let me just tell you, it's not just uh, the guys that you interviewed, but, you know, there's people like Bob Gates. He spent a lifetime serving the public, Leon Panetta. You just don't call these people names. I, I read this thing, and I, I just I couldn't believe it. I was sort of incredulous at what the president was saying. Now, apparently, he's walked back his comments to some degree. There's no question what Russia did. They meddled in our election. They support a butcher over in Syria. They invaded Ukraine. I mean, the whole thing is just crazy. And look, I, I, just, uh, I just don't understand it. And I don't know why he's saying those things. I would just tell you that Putin is a, is a former KBG, KGB agent. This is not a guy you could trust or a guy you can, you could really have any confidence in. It's ridiculous. So uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm glad he walked it back, Jake. That was a good thing that he did that, but I was actually flabbergasted when I read the earlier accounts. He, he, we walked it back a little bit, but he still refuses to say definitively, I believe they're in U.S. intelligence agencies, and I believe Russia tried to interfere in the election, and I've made it very clear they need to stop. He won't do that, at least not publicly. Well, I, I think he should. Look, I, I, you're trying to get me to tell you what's happening in his head. I don't know what's happening in your head half the time, you know. I don't know. It's just that the evidence is there, whether it's Facebook, Twitter. Of course they meddled in our election. And, and, and look, there are activities in the Ukraine where they have misled, lied, you know, attack people in Ukraine. People have lost their lives over there. What's happening in Syria, the vicious bombardments that happened over there, it's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I, I just... Look, you want to just, you want to be cool, but you want to be firm, you want to be clear. That's the way you have to be with Putin or any of these other uh, autocrats. And, you know, one of the things I'm concerned about is I look at this Asia trip. You know, you now have 11 countries agreeing that they're going to get together and, and be involved in trade. You have China rising with their economic program trying to influence the world. And we're like coming home. We're staying home. And it doesn't make any sense, both from a economic point of view, but also from a geopolitical point of view. The United States matters. We need to have influence in the world. And we get it not just with trade, but with our military activity and our relationship with our mm -hmm. allies. And to have walked away from this is just really a very, very big mistake. Governor, speaking of elections, I want to ask you about last Tuesday's election results. Democrats won key races in, in New Jersey and in Virginia. Um, you, you, of course, remember... Well, they went all over the country, Lake. Yeah. They, they went all over the country. In places no one ever had seen Democrats win. I was talking to some folks from Pennsylvania, and some of the people, some of the Democrats went over there in areas that have always been Republican. Look, the Republican Party has just gotten smaller here. Uh, you know, anti-trade, anti-immigrant, trying to take health care away from folks. 
This is not going to work. These are things I've been talking about for a long time. We have problems in this country, and you have two paths. You can either, you can either double down, be negative, and look for scapegoats, or you can say, yes, we have problems, but we can fix them. That's what we do here in the state of Ohio. But if a party is going to be anti-environment and anti-trade, and one other thing, for both parties, first of all, the Democrats didn't win anything. They just kind of lucked into it because people are fed up with both parties. And the millennials and the Gen Xers are going to equal the baby boomers in 2018. And the millennials and the Gen Xers are coming. They are pro-environment, pro-trade, comfortable with America's place in the world. And if either of these parties, the Democrats moving farther and farther to the left, the Republicans worried about everything on the extreme right, playing to their base, if this continues, these, these millennials and Gen Xers are are totally up for grabs and frankly it's going to reshape the entire landscape of American politics and thank goodness. Is it possible that you'll be there running as a third party candidate in 2020 to take advantage of that sir? No I don't Jake is there any no <laughs> Jake you know that I don't know what's going to be happening I want to finish my term as governor but who knows what is going to happen in terms of people who might who might look for another way. It's very hard to be an independent, but I'm just suggesting to you that the country is getting fed up with the kind of fighting and partisan politics, and it was reflected on Tuesday against the Republicans, not for the Democrats. I mean, I don't believe the Democrats had any great victory. They just were the benefit of a lot of negativity and small thinking on the part of Republicans. Can the Republicans turn it around? Absolutely. Take mm -hmm. care of these uh, of the DACA, the dreamers here in the country. Get a tax cut that's, that's balanced. Begin to be more positive about the environment. Welcome immigrants while protecting the border. These, this is what the Republican Party is. It's what it's always been. And it's what I fight for along with a number of my colleagues. So, you know, I, I'm optimistic, but they're going to have to change because getting smaller, getting more inward, taking America backward, it's not going to work. Governor Casey coming to us from a very toasty looking room. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Very nice here, Jake. <laughs> God look, bless. It looks it.